Welcome back friends, we are in lesson number 53. Uh, in lesson number 51 and 52, we have seen how we can make the sprite walk uh, sort of back and forward. Now in this lesson, we are going to extend this and make the sprite move in an inclined direction, which means not in the X direction or the Y direction, but say uh, some kind of a, a you know a inclined direction here, right? In fact, to make things more interesting, we'll also make the sprite climb up staircases because this really tells us some way about how uh, you know uh, the move block and, and so on works, right? So let's get started. You know, here I have a simple project. We just started this. So first thing I'm going to do is to resize my sprite a little bit because it's looking rather large to me. So I'll make it say around 70%. Also, I'll add a new backdrop. And in this case, the backdrop that I've chosen is this castle three. Uh, because here I'm going to make my sprite move up in an inclined direction first and then move in this direction to uh, sort of climb the staircase and then go back up here, right? So it creates a pretty nice animation. Uh, and we'll get started right now. The first thing I want to do is that I will make my sprite two extra costumes and the reason for that will become a bit clear as we go along. Uh, but for now, I'll just duplicate this costume as well as uh, this costume. So, you know, and I'll group them together. So I've got costume one, costume two, which is the original costume. Costume three, I'm going to flip it around. Like I said, the reason will become a bit clear as we go along. Uh, you know, uh, and this also I'll flip, but you can kind of imagine that I want the sprite to face this direction while it's going up the stairs, right? So that's why I've gone to costume three and costume four. Now, to make the sprite move, say, from here to here, uh, that part is something similar to what we have done, uh, you know, in lesson 51, for example. So I'll just say, you know, maybe, you know, when flag is clicked, let's say, first thing first, say, switch costume to cost cat one, right? So, you know, that you must do switch costume to that particular uh, costume now i'll say you know go to actually i'll, I'll go to first so I'll, I'll say go to let's say uh, something like minus 70 minus 140 because i want it to come somewhere here so if i just did this much uh, you know the sprite is nicely placed but now i'll say point in direction and the direction i will use is in fact direction of say 60 degrees right so roughly 60 degrees yeah 60 is just nice uh, because that aligns the sprite nicely in the direction of the corridor, right? And now once having, so I, sorry, I should make in the code 60 degrees. But once this is done, uh, this is really same as the lesson number one. Uh, I'm sorry, lesson number 51, where we made the cat move. So I can uh, do that code. So I'll just say, for example, repeat, say, for example, this time nine times. And I will say, you know, maybe wait for a while. Let's say a wait of, say, 0.3 seconds. Uh, then go to next costume and thereafter you know move by say 10 steps right so it's exactly same as what we have done just that the sprite will now uh, you know move in an inclined direction and you know if i did this notice what happens is that i'm getting that extra costume coming in so sprite is flipping over to avoid this i have to use the trick that i did in lesson number 50 where i was skipping some costumes so what i will do is that i will say if uh, you know costume number is let's say three Right, so if let's say I'll put an operator here, costume number is equal to three. Uh, you know, in the looks I go and say if costume um, costume number is equal to three, which is the flipped costume, I should immediately switch to costume one. Right, uh, that's exactly what we have done. So that will make sure that I am only switching between costume one and costume two, which is what I want. Right, so I'll say switch to costume one. Now with this done, you will see that sprite moves quite nicely and uh, it reaches the point in front of the staircase, right? Now, at this point of time, I want the sprite to turn in the other direction, sort of like start to make a turn towards the staircase. And I'll do that by using, once again, my other costume and also the turning block, right? And this is a little bit tricky, so just pay a little bit of attention here. I will duplicate this entire code, right? Now, I have to change this in a few ways. Uh, I should stop this first. First thing first, I will say switch to costume three, right? Now, once the sprite switches to costume three, I can see what happens here. I can go and select three here. Uh, notice with this, you know, this direction, if I said, as always, if I pointed 90, the sprite is pointing this direction. Now, if I wanted to face, let's say, towards the staircase, right, I'll have to set it to something like 130 degrees, right? And there, notice, you know, that if I make it 130, it kind of faces very nicely in this direction, right? However, very importantly, this 130 direction is actually as the arrow shows here, right? Which means that if I have to make the sprite go upwards or towards the staircase, in fact, I'll have to move negative steps because remember the move is related to a direction. The direction is pointing downwards. 
just that because we have flipped the costume right that's why it's coming reverse here right so what we will do is that we'll say point in direction say 130 and here instead of let's say 10 steps i'll say move minus 10 steps and like i said it's going against direction is this way and i'm going the other direction so i'll say move minus 10 steps and also here i want the costume to be flipping between three and four right which means that if it becomes one so after three four this next costume will make it become one uh, if it becomes one i'll immediately set it back to costume number three right and and i you know i'll just say make make it go up about 25 steps right and notice what happens now uh, the sprite goes on it it turns quite nicely and then it starts moving towards the other direction towards the staircase and it's kind of looks like it's kind of climbing up the stairs right now having reached this point i just have to repeat this thing once again so what i'll do is i'll duplicate this you know and put it here this time around i want to go back to costume number one because it's again facing the right side so i'll say go back to costume number one i will point this in direction of about say uh, you know 45 because that's where the staircase is going and really this is kind of very similar to you know uh, what we had done, I just don't have to repeat so much. So I'll say repeat 11 times and move this time plus 10. And here the switch should happen between 3 and 4. So if I say costume number is 3, then I'll make it costume 1, right? So now if I run this code, notice what happens. Sprite goes here, uh, you know, Sprite makes a turn, goes towards the staircase. It looks pretty cool actually. But really there's concepts involved, which is what you should look at, right? How we are using direction, the, the movement block and so on. And now Sprite turns again and starts climbing towards that direction right and once it reaches the top i can again uh, set it back to say point in direction 90 right if i did that notice the sprite looks like it's kind of standing there so i can put this code over here right uh, so i hope you found this useful and interesting uh, take care thank you so much bye bye